Grainne from the Sound Healing Academy. Today I'm talking to Connie Blunt. Connie has trained with us as a sound healing practitioner and she also works with the NHS as a consultant anaesthetist. More recently she's been work with, with, working with COVID patients in the intensive care unit and I'm sure it's been quite a busy year for you Connie. Welcome. Uh, thank you, Gronia, for having me. I'm excited to be part of your Sound Healing Academy team. Um, and yes, I am a medic and a sound healer for the last 10 years. Um, I've been uh, into sound healing. These two opposing uh, modes of healing really complement one another, in my experience. Um, whilst modern medicine deals with the physical body when it really fails already. We fix joints and uh, we treat things that are measurable and visible uh, uh, out of balance like diabetes, blood pressure with pills. Um, when it's a chronic already and often um, sadly irreversible, whilst alternative practices like mindfulness, um, relaxation techniques and uh, breathing techniques, but in, in particular sound healing, um, addresses imbalances in the body long, long before they become measurable by conventional medicine. Wow, that's fascinating. So how do you think sound prevents disease? Uh, sound really helps uh, uh, us to be holistic. Uh, and uh, there are two main effects. So first of all, whether we are aware about how it works, but it can reset our physiology into its natural balance. And when our body, our organs are in balance, we feel, um, we just feel our best. We feel in balance, we feel energized, we perform our best, and we actually, it goes hand in hand with feeling happy as well. Um, that's the first mode, but it, uh, more importantly, I think, it gives us a tool, it teaches us to become body aware. So we become very sensitive, like barometers of our own health and balance inside our body. We learn exactly what it feels like when our physiology is in balance and uh, it becomes our feel good go to reference point. Mm. And we learn at the same time when the balance is off and what to do about it to prevent our balance to be knocked off. Wow. So tell us a bit more. You spoke about body awareness there. Can you tell me a little bit more about body awareness? So body awareness is a really a, a something that is not so well taught in our Western society. Um, uh, if you imagine that your body is like an ecosystem of buzzing life, it's made of 50 trillion cells. And what is uh, mind blowing is that each single cell performs 100,000 biochemical reactions uh, per second. Wow. And uh, so proteins are built, energy is set free, electrons are shifting, and all these particles, molecules, and um, uh, atoms, they really vibrate on a certain, you know, on the microcosm or subatomic level, they, they vibrate and they are at the same time energy, which is modern physics really. Mm. And so we, we radiate, um, uh, you know, there's a lot going on inside our body and Eastern traditions teach us these methods uh, uh, and sound healing is one of them, uh, where we learn to, if we pay attention yeah. to, to feel, to, to make this busyness, we, we, we learn what it feels like inside our body. Yeah. So uh, it becomes tangible, it becomes, uh, we can feel it as tingles, as, as we can see colors. So, yeah. you know, there's a lot we become aware of. Great. And how do you think that sound can help us with this? How can sound healing or sound make us more body aware? Sound on its, uh, when it's offered as a, as a healing method, it, uh, uh, it's offered in, in, in all its great spectrum of frequencies and um, uh, vibrations of different qualities. And 
you can imagine it a bit like a, an ultrasound machine. So you have sound and you expose yourself to sound. And if you're really relaxed, the sound interacts with our vibrating molecules and tissues and organs. And in a way, it touches us on that level. And we can feel how the sound resonates and touches our tissue. So it's like a sound massage. It's really like a sound bath. So we can feel there's something going on and the sound, the touch makes us aware. Oh, they you know, they the, I can feel my heart. Uh, you know, I can feel the, the, the quality of my heart. And the Eastern uh, cultures, they have really mapped out this, uh, this uh, internal body map and uh, in chakras and meridians, mm -hmm. uh, which is very, which are high energy intensity points. People have observed these, they have empirically felt them. Um, but now science is also uh, uh, catching up really and, and showing us that, you know, these have perfectly normal or uh, explicable anatomical counterparts, yeah. like the, the heart chakra, the, uh, the crown chakra, the brain and the heart, they are electrically active organs mm -hmm. with a lot of nerves and then blood vessels going around and activity there. And on some level, we, we can feel it. And when we can feel when they are working well and we can feel when there are blockages. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So day to day, how do you think body awareness can help us? So uh, you learn very quickly when you get into it. It's a, it's a wonderful, beautiful journey of self-awareness. And, um, you know, you, you really um, uh, learn quickly how to find this feel-good reference point. And you just don't want to let go of it. You want to mm. always go back to this feel-good and uh, uh, mode of yourself and it's when you at your best as well is when you're full of energy is when you're full of passion and motivation and ideas mm -hmm. and um, and also it builds you uh, you know which is which is lovely uh, in when your life is plain sailing you know you just have a happy life mm -hmm. but then um, life also can, can get tough and and there are always challenges around the corner so this this body awareness um, and this feel-good reference balance helps you to to develop uh, to develop confidence and resilience yeah. to you know sometimes even choose uh, you know challenging path in your life or yeah. to be able to serve others and uh, which brings me back to my job that uh, you know it really enabled me to uh, to to do my job well in the nhs you know even at the um even when it gets uh, extremely stressful at times uh when you know to particularly recently where uh you know you, you d or i dealt a lot with people um at the end of their life with yeah. uh, you know extreme human suffering um uh, life death situations um and uh so uh not to lose the connection to that inner energy resource which we uh, which we really have and um so i i remain resilient and able to 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 do my day-to-day -day job really wow. and not re neglect my family and my own health mm. lovely oh thank you so much colleague that's really really fascinating yeah i find myself um even just playing a bowl just helps bring me back to myself you know, just one bowl, just it's amazing how one instrument can help you just reconnect, reconnect to the body, check in with yourself and see how you're feeling. Um, so thank you so much. That was really, really fascinating. And um, I'd love to talk to you more about this. And hopefully we'll get to talk more in the future about what you're doing and how you're going to be working with us in the Sound Healing Academy. Thank you again, Connie. And I hope to speak to you soon. You're welcome. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.